use of magazine name, the Kano is now spreading everywhere because a lot of prominent figures has called for the release of Mazin and Mikano, but yet Mazin and Mikano is in detention. So right now, there is a particular ongoing news whereby um, Donald Trump, according to the news, I'm going to play the video so that you guys will hear directly. Um, Donald Trump was asked, um, the, the Nigerian government to actually release Mazin and Mikano before the 30th of um, December, the, uh, sorry, 30th of November. So. I want you guys to actually take your time and watch this video, you understand? Don't skip any part of the video so you don't miss any information. So let's know, let's together know what's actually going on concerning the release of Mazin and Kano. Because even recently, a good news happened to Mazin and Kano where the DSS had to comply and allow, you know, Mazin and Kano lawyer to start accessing it, which is a good news. And now, news has come out again that um, Donald Trump has asked them to release Mazin and Kano within... Um, 30th of November. So why did this um, particular news come out and why is it said that Donald Trump says he should um, release Mazin and Kanu? Let's watch the video so we get everything cool and direct without wasting much of time. Let's dive into the video. But if they see this important bit and just they watch this video, this one is good news. I know say so many of you, they wait for that very day, Mazin and Kanu will come out from that place. A lot of celebration though, in fact, if this thing really happened, before this Christmas, you see this year's Christmas, this year is going to be the best, the highest. Every man I just what? Listen to Donald Trump. Just hear this directly from the horse's mouth. Make you not be like I need a talk and more. Just hear it directly from the horse's mouth. This one are good news. Today I am calling on the Nigerian government to immediately release Mr. Namdi Kanu, who has been detained under circumstances that raise questions of fairness, human rights, and basic justice. Namdi Kanu's detention has gone on far too long, and it's time for the Nigerian government to respect the principles of freedom and the rule of law. I have watched this situation closely, and I have seen how it has stirred deep pain, anger, and frustration among many Nigerians who feel that their rights and voices are being suppressed. Now, let me be very clear. If Mr. Kanu is not released by November 31st, 2024, my administration will begin the process of withdrawing medical, financial, and humanitarian aid that we provide to Nigeria. The United States stands for justice and democracy, and we expect our allies to uphold these same values. In addition, if Nigeria does not take this step, I will meet with other world leaders to discuss further actions, including sanctions against Nigeria. The world must not stand idle while the rights of individuals are trampled. This is not a message of hostility. It's a message of hope, fairness, and accountability. We want to see Nigeria flourish as a nation. And I believe that respecting justice and human rights is key to a prosperous future for all Nigerians. Thank you, and God bless America. This is a shocking announcement that Donald Trump is going to fully recognize the people of Biafra. This was called the United States of Biafra. And I see Donald Trump begin to recognize Biafra and make it official that these people are up to a country of their own and i begin to look at the realms of the spirit i begin to ask myself questions what's the meaning of this and what is going on he said that the american people do not know what's going on here is it is it what nigeria has accepted or what is that and the lord said this is what's called donald trump in the realm of the spirit now right there in america and the time comes and the donald trump now recognize and also what's called this was called state of biafra in the realm of the spirit god began to speak to me about biafra and i'm worried i stopped somewhere last month and i'm going to throw a little light on another one and i pray that the authority concerned should listen to me and it's a statement dialogue now so that you should not be knocking the door for dialogue and there's no dialogue that's what god told me i keep saying it i said there is a spirit in this young man it is bigger than what physical eye can see i'm not an evil man i'm a yoruba man but i'm speaking as a prophet i said what i see in this young man is bigger than him 
You see the man, the small boy that they call him, what is inside him is bigger. It's not just an ideology. It's bigger. I said, I see an animal. Which animal did I tell you last time? Eh? Huh? I say what? A what? A what? A small puppy. And I say, I see a small puppy going forward. All of a sudden, I saw so many strange wide animals, lion, bear, great animals around the puppy. Then I saw the puppy look back and saw that the animals around him are so many. Suddenly the puppy, what I saw last month is different from what I'm seeing now. The puppy is developing some futures of wild animals. It ha <laughs> This prophetic word is not to the negative. It's very important. Take the Biafra agitation serious. Dialogue now. Because I see a time. Doors are knocked. Calls are made. People who are heady are saying we have come down. But these people are not willing to dialogue again. Please. Redeeming the time. For the days are evil. Dialogue now. Dialogue now. I repeat it again. I'm not an evil man. But I'm telling you what I'm shown in the spirit. What? I'm seeing great people, important people in this nation. Coming together. And saying now, okay, we want to sit on the table. Let us talk. But the people you want to talk with are saying, it's too late. Please, dialogue now. The days ahead are evil. Dialogue now. This is not a cry of a baby. It's a cry of an adult. I repeat it again. Dialogue now. The Bible said, Blessed are the peacemaker, for they shall be called the children of God. Please, every authority, there come a time when a revolution is about to take place. The power of God, bombs and bullets cannot hold an ideology. Please, dialogue now. This is not the time of, I have bullets, I have gun, I have bomb. This has nothing to do with bullets and bomb. If you know what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit, everyone in federal authority should take the Biafra agitation serious. If you are once a founding father of this nation, sit down around the table and listen to your children. Dialogue now! This is not the time to arrest anybody. Is the time to hear the cry of the people. Dialogue now. Because he's going to be the last resultant solution at the end. But when you are asking, when the king comes down from his throne and he's saying, I'm ready to talk, and everybody is throwing stone on at you, then you will know that it is important to dialogue with honor and prestige and go out and there is peace in the land pursue this agenda so in other words he quickly went to his ex handle and actually put it out there and said the efforts for the secession of nigeria's southeast region and that with the relationship with this uh, attorney general there is also optimism he expressed optimism that getter's appointment could advance this cause like i asked you earlier i said in as much as the cause is ongoing and this same united states or this same european union or this same britain who know about this man's case all this while and have kept 
mom and kept quiet despite several court orders despite several court documentation asking for his release how do we trust that this process will yield something positive a couple of people have complained that uh, he is too quick to make announcements and sometimes when some things don't come to fusion it almost feels like it's an empty balloon that is going on out there or maybe he's misleading anyone or misleading people do you think it's too early to announce this considering the fact that there's a lot on trump's table do you think that the other time when he wrote apparently he said the nigerian government actually wrote against the uh referendum situation for the bfn republic in exile so my question is do you think this is too early do you think that there is anything that will come out of this and how long though will this agenda take place uh, that will give the fusion of what is expected i say i don't believe simon uh, but the, the one i'm interested in is in what is being done here in this country so if there is nothing true if there's no truth about it why come and put it out on his ex and all if there is no sincerity or purpose to it what is the essence of doing that then excuse me i'm i was here in this country in 2007 when uh when the the, the Igbo women wrote to queen Elizabeth. Okay. that was 2007 and then the leader of uh, Mwasob, that's uh, um, Ralph Owazrike, okay. the Igbo women wrote a protest letter to Queen Elizabeth. Okay. When it get to Buckingham Palace, it was received and uh, and uh, and was was signed, uh, received and signed. Okay. Sign um, uh, Ralph Owasrike took that uh, took that thing and was telling people that Queen Elizabeth has signed for Biafra. Hmm. Understand me? That Queen Elizabeth has signed for Biafra. But this is a common thing that when a, a letter gets to, to to a government office, there should be um, a, a sign of a receipt. We have seen it. All right. So what these guys are doing is hmm. is, is is deception. So I don't believe him, and uh, Susie Wells mm -hmm. is going to be the chief of staff to the president of the United States. Yes, yes. Okay. Guess is going to be the attorney general of of the United States. Okay. They have a lot on their table, table. so I don't believe what Simon Eber is is doing. Simon Eber is deceiving gullible people. So my concern is what is happening in Nigeria. I have that trust. I have that confidence mm -hmm. that uh, Namde Kanu will be out. But the question is when. Okay. Well, apparently we've we've heard from uh, the Honourable Minister that that talks are ongoing, and in the soonest possible time, definitely there'll be good news. But the reason why I'm asking is this, Mr. Anosike. We just recently heard of the information concerning the fact that the Central Intelligence Agency reportedly confirmed that Nigeria sitting President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is an active asset by the U.S. intelligence, and of course, it sparked international espionage scandal across the globe. There were polarization of thoughts and leanings towards this so if he is an asset how would this be possible with this information reeled out now will that particular um will i say designation or deal between the nigerian president and the cia be truncated now that trump is already coming on board if he continues to become an asset will this particular agenda be fulfilled despite the fact that he has received the you know bia franchata esther do they know what being an active asset means do they know that you you and i can be active asset to to cia or to fbi okay active asset simply means somebody who gives information all right to to the security agency okay. it could be voluntary or it could be paid for okay understand me so there's no big deal about it there's no big deal with the fact that our president is supposedly an active asset abiola was abiola was saddam hussein was understand me and there are still many people in this country who are still at, at so these people just uh, read the headlines they don't even understand
Ella City, Ben and the Fulani again. When you when they visit your checking point, just that Juju can never save you as long as you're sticking for a mama. This is the end of our news update. Please click the icon on the top right corner of your screen to watch my next video. You will enjoy it. I will see you again in my next update.